Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Cup of Wrestling. Today we have got for you the second match in Round C. No, the second match in Group C, Round 1. We've already seen Giant Gonzalez go up against Mansoor. This one is Commander Aziz representing Poland. Yep, that's correct. Going up against Ray Phoenix representing Mexico. Let's crack it back on. Right then, I mean... I would call Phoenix the favourite for this one in ability wise however judging by the the speed and ability of phoenix and the yeah it's tricky it really is i mean obviously commander aziz formerly baba tunde from raw underground does have the incredible strength and size advantage which he's really taken advantage of right now but phoenix yeah experience speed a little bit of everything um, this really could go either way. It's a real clash of styles. Two styles you wouldn't expect to see together. Uh, which one's going to come out on top, I suppose, is the, the main question here. As Ray Phoenix uh, in the ring after sending Commander Aziz to the outside. You see the referee stopping Phoenix from continuing the assault. And I mean, the referee's doing his job there. But what he has done is con Phoenix a bit. Because Phoenix has been held back there to the point where Commander Aziz has been able to get back in control of the match. Phoenix, though, fighting back with the boots. Again, using that speed and agility. But Commander Aziz catches him with that strength and that power. Should be an interesting one, that. We've seen Mansoor versus Giant Gonzalez. Now we've got Commander Aziz versus Phoenix. What I'm looking forward to is Phoenix versus Mansoor and Commander Aziz versus Giant Gonzalez. A real clash of the titans between those two. That would be interesting, that will. I'm not sure if that's the next round of matches or the last round. I'm not 100% sure. Um, because I am basically following the same match structure as the real World Cup. So uh, I'd have no idea what matches when, to be honest with you. As Phoenix went for the senton bomb, Commander Aziz got the knees. Aziz now taking Phoenix up once again, slams him spine first into the turnbuckle, then throws him into the ring, and then raining down that big forearm into the face. And again, another stiff forearm. Phoenix is back up, went for the running strike, not able to get there. As there's the strike in the face, and now Aziz... In with that spine buster on the apron. Like I said before, that is very painful. That is uh, solid steel. Nice backdrop. The battle now on the outside. Aziz now with a spine buster. Phoenix with the strikes. And the referee's up to a five count here. Remember, a count out would class as a loss for both if uh, they both get counted out. Which would be an incredible result for, um, for Drank Gonzalez who won earlier, wouldn't it really? But both men now back in the ring. Phoenix allowing Commander Aziz back in. Phoenix with a kick across the head. But Commander Aziz is having none of it. Phoenix again using his strength, or using his speed to slide out the back of that. Tried to catch Aziz, but Aziz caught him with that power bomb. Wow. I mean, I wasn't expecting Aziz to be doing so well here, to be honest, I must say. Phoenix now wrenching back at the arm. Damage here, dropping the knees into the spine. Phoenix now again, big boot into the spine as well. Phoenix. Going to head up to the top. In with that Lucha style arm drag. Phoenix now with a strike into the spine. Another big strike into the spine as well. Going in for the pin. Will this be enough? No, it's only a two count, but it's a two count nonetheless. Yeah. 
Phoenix ducks underneath the clothesline. There's the strikes, the kicks, a little bit of everything. Big super kick once again. Phoenix pops up in with a tornado. Heads is a takedown. Phoenix again, boot in the gut. Just turns Commander Aziz round. And Phoenix, now look at his strength, taking. Oh, he took Commander Aziz up on the shoulders, but tried to play Aziz at his own style, which was stupid, really. Really was stupid. You want to be playing Aziz at your advantage, your speed advantage. Trying to play him at the pace advantage was a stupid idea. And that has led to oh, almost Commander Aziz getting the win. Aziz now in control, taking Phoenix up once again and slams him down. Commander Aziz representing Poland, looking incredibly strong here. Looking to take him up, but Phoenix fights back with the elbow in the face. Has the hand locked once again. And now heading up in to that arm drag takedown. Aziz now gets taken up on the shoulders and dropped in that crunchy style manoeuvre by Phoenix, who goes over the top. Springboard 450 headbutt? I think that was. A springboard 450. Either way, it was effective. And it's enough. No, it's not. Wow. How is that not enough? Phoenix looking for that springboard 450 again. Aziz avoids and spears and takes down Phoenix. Aziz now with a head, but right between the shoulders. Aziz now stamping on the hand. Big boots in the spine, in the leg, in the back, a little bit of everything. Aziz now drops into the pin. Will this be enough to pick up the three? No, it's still only a two count. Big uh, knee in the gut, and now Aziz taking Phoenix up on the shoulder, drops him face first. Aziz dropping the elbow into the spine. Oh, Phoenix, a boot in the back of the leg of Aziz, and now... Oh, what a manoeuvre! Aziz threw Phoenix up on the air. Phoenix took the advantage to catch him in. The head scissors now. Phoenix with Aziz up on the shoulders. In for that Mexinoco driver. There's the pin. Will this be enough to get Phoenix and Mexico the first point? It is. Ray Phoenix picks up the win. Oh. What a match and what a point that is for Phoenix. Um, Ray Phoenix. That's Phoenix's first victory of 2022, you know. That's mad. And Commander Aziz drops down to a zero. Ray Phoenix with that first victory moves up to a plus nine in the rankings. And there we go. That is the end of Group C for today. One round of matches gone. And we have Giant Gonzalez and Phoenix at the top of the group on plus one. And Commander Aziz and Mansour at the bottom of the group on zero. Right, we'll be back tomorrow then for Group D when we'll see Chaos representing Denmark alongside Tarek Aljahan representing Tunisia going uh, at it. And then later on the day we'll have French representative Andre the Giant going up against the man from down under Australia's Buddy Murphy. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.